Looks like we've got a Supergirl, but what I really want to know is, is she going to go my way? The die has been set. There's been another casting in the DCU, and we're going to try to figure out if we're excited about this. Millie Alcock has been cast as Supergirl in the DCU with seems like her own movie coming down the way. I mean, we'll see what happens depending on how everything shakes out. I am the man you may know as Z from our reviews will kill you, and I'm here to give you the latest news reviews on all those good things. But we're going to take a look at the article. We're going to see what's going on. Looks like James Gunn has officially cast Supergirl. Now we're going to get back to this article, but first we're going to hear from the man himself. James Gunn, new Woman of Steel, House of the Dragons, Millie Alcock, the Australian actress. Somebody asked him, and I guess he said, this is accurate. Millie is a fantastically talented young actor, and I'm incredibly excited about her being part of the DCU. Yes, I first became aware of her in House of the Dragon, but I was blown away by the six whole episodes and her varied, varied auditions and screen tests for Supergirl. She embodies Kara as envisioned by Tom King, uh, all these other people. And they want to know, for, t for movie, TV, series, or both... Who knows? I doubt she's going to get a series, but I think she's going to get a movie. And, um, yeah, I think it's it's supposed to be Woman of Tomorrow, which I don't know anything about. I didn't collect any of those comics, so I have no idea. All I know is she's not another super whammon. She wasn't the girl from The Flash who was uh, poorly, well, I'm not going to say miscast, but didn't actually get a chance to do much of anything except for give glares at people and uh, not much else. I don't even think she has like three old lines in that movie, if I'm correct. So, um, yeah. And then we had Melissa Benoist, who was the soft, white underbelly of Supergirl. Like, I wasn't super impressed with her. Some people liked her, but whatever. So, we'll see what we get. She's a 23-year-old actress from Australia. So, that means... Uh, I don't know what that means. I just mean she's probably good. Those Australians, the good actor, Margaret Robbie, she's all right. Mel Gibson's all right. There's some good Australians in uh, Fly Around the World. Russell Crowe, isn't he Australian too? Paul Morty from Bendigo's Australian too. So, anyway, uh, let's see here. So, uh, I thought she was pretty good in, I thought she was better than the grown up version of. Her character in House of the Dragon. I liked her much better than the other actress. I thought their story was more compelling, but they decided to do a big time jump. Like, it might have been like three episodes in. I don't even remember. I thought it was like 10 episodes or six episodes. Maybe it was six. I don't know, but I thought she was pretty cool, and then they got rid of her. So, yeah, that's a thing, you know. Um, she looks kind of tiny, so maybe James Gunn will stuff her in a box. Or inside of some luggage. Looks like she's got some dumb tattoos that she needs to get rid of. Those look real dumb, sweetheart. Don't have dumb tattoos. Oof. Nothing. What is, you know, look, this might just be uh, shaking my fist at the clouds. But what's with all the, what's with all these young girls and these crazy tattoos? What's with the tattoos on the skins and the things? <laughs> like, why? It just looks like, just because, uh... Miley Cyrus did it. I mean, did she turn out so well? Like, why are we all just putting on weird things like this? Strange. Strange. Um, it's like you wanted to face your skin and you're not happy about it. So, yeah, she's clearly best known as Rainier. 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 I don't know what her Targaryen. Whatever her name is, Targaryen. Rainier. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> they're moving forward with this beautiful star-spanning tail. I mean, sure, but I think the casting first, she's supposedly going to show up. I, there's rumors, it's unconfirmed, that she's going to show up in Superman Legacy, which is featuring David Cornsweat as Clark Kent, and, uh, who's that other girl as, uh, 
the girl from Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Miss Maisel. So, uh, yeah, she will see. She's be a Kara Zor El. Canonically, she's the cousin of Superman. Sasha Kale, most recently. She was, see, I guess she was Supergirl. Yeah, not super impressed. Melissa Benoit, not super impressed. Laura Vanderboot, not too bad. Showing a little midsection, a little belly. <laughs> she was all right. Oh, there's been a lot of people. Helen Slater from 1984 Supergirl film, which I don't think I've ever seen. Uh, and then there's some, she'll supposedly get her own movie called uh, Woman of Tomorrow, I guess. That's a lot of people who've played Supergirl. I would have never figured that many people played Supergirl. Interesting. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a good choice? I just thought it was interesting. And I can't pronounce her character's name in House of the Dragons. Maybe you can phonetically spell it out for me so that I can actually pronounce this thing. Renaris? Renarier? I can't do it. Targaryen. I can say that. She's not Daenerys. I was going to want to say Renaris, like Daenerys, but she's not Daenerys. So. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's the news. Oh, Rachel Brosnahan is uh, Lois Lane. So I think the casting looks pretty. Nicholas Holt as Lex Luthor. I'm kind of cool. It's cool too. I think he's a good actor. So uh, you know, let's 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 see. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Superman Legacy is supposed to come out July 11th, 2025. So. We got some time to hear some more stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will be curious. I'm okay with this so far, but I I haven't seen enough of her to know if she's a good enough actress to be interested. I don't. I think it's a little early for her to have her own movie, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, uh, in the meantime, join us. We have memberships. You can also super chat us during our live stream, which is 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. Come join us. Come check us out there. And in the meantime, we do plenty of other videos. So if you like what you hear today, thank you for listening. Uh, like and subscribe. We definitely appreciate it. I know I watch so many videos and I always forget to like and subscribe. So I'm reminding you right now, do us a favor. Help grow the channel. We do appreciate it because you're going to like other content from us. I promise you. But as for myself and Targaryen, I am on to the next one.